Hello and welcome to a recording from Alan Paul. So we're going to do something a little different today. I'm actually narrating a little video I started with here. As you can see, I have no control of this camera whatsoever. I'm just going to keep looking around. But I got this new outfit I'm wearing on my character. The whale... was the whale stalker cloak, I believe it's called? Kind of nice. Plus I'm exporting my new blue and white with a little bit of gold in there. Uh, so kind of looks pretty nice with the cape floating around in the background. Kind of like this look. Anyway, there's the ship I'll be flying, and uh, here I am on my sky platform. We're going to do something a little new today. I, I feel like I don't have enough nanites. Yeah, 168,000 just isn't enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to, while I'm reorganizing the inventory here, let me describe what's going on. We're going to do a little nanite farming. So what this means is it doesn't mean I'm going to look for curiosities. It doesn't mean I'm going to look for uh, something to harvest it's literally going to be going to a planet that I have a lot of nanites, uh, pardon me, a lot of sentinels on. You go to a planet that has sentinels that are literally hateful to you. Um, and therefore, they will attack on sight. Usually, these planets also have gravitino balls. So you can farm them when you're done and get as many as you like and gather up a whole lot of money. Now, if things go right, you're going to see what kind of, uh, what kind of, uh, what we can produce in doing so, how much nanites we can get within an hour. Now that this video is not an hour long, of course. As you can see, it's only it's less than 20 minutes. I uh, truncated it. I also paused it at some points in order to be able to do so. Now, right now, you see as you look, see me looking at my system here. This is one of my famous systems that I have here that have literally three paradise planets in it. There are no sentinels here that will attack on site. So we have to go somewhere instead. Now I was going to go on the ship, but I decided I'm going to go ahead and take a portal to a specific farm I've got set up. Uh, one of my bases that I have in a different galaxy. And it is aptly named the EP Nanite Sentinel Farm. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and go to this planet, and I'm just going to show you a little bit of how this gets done. Um, so here we are on our way, and you'd see there's a timer on the screen. So we're going to start that timer here in a little bit. Uh, once we show you how it's done. Um, now, I've learned this technique from different gamers. Um, Jason, I don't know if he's ever done something like this, but I know Zane's World, I believe, has done this. Beeblebum has actually showed us how to do this as well. And it is still present today. One of the key components, and I haven't shown, I won't show it in the video here, uh, is the multi-tool. With the right multi-tool, with the right weapon on board, you can really go through Sentinels like water. It's incredible what you can do. So this little planet here I've, I've come to, you can see it's uh, scalding rainstorms and sentinels are hateful. Okay, hateful. Very small base here. I don't even have a landing pad. I happen to be near a trading outpost. It's just two levels. But there's a lot of placements around here. So that way when they're lobbing grenades and stuff at you, there's never anything around. Uh, that when they get the pits and stuff like that, you can still stand on board. Now, you see I have my ammunition at 6527. I'm going to increase that. I thought 9000 would be enough. I decided to go a little higher and get an actual full 10,000. I literally went through that entire grouping of rounds. I had to reproduce another 10,000 rounds in order to be able to do what I needed to do. So, as you can see, I'm flying around here. I'm looking for a sentinel that might be just floating around and, you know, taking a look at stuff, but there's there's no one around. The point is, what you have to do is you look for your ground of gravitino balls. If you can get a base near there and produce the same kind of base that I've got up there, uh, up here, get a nice surrounding around it, so that way when the ground is, the ground is completely level, you don't have to repair the ground or anything like that. Yeah, I don't know why I'm scanning creatures right now. It's not important. 7 of 12. I haven't discovered everything here. It's something I like to do. I like to discover all the creatures on every planet I visit, but don't don't worry about that. So what we're going to do here, you can see me moving away, and I'm going to actually go up on a hill here, and I'm going to take a look for some gravitino balls. And because they're hot rainstorms, your backpack tends to last a lot longer, which is really cool. So these two-star units here, those are the gravitino balls that you're looking for. So I'm going to go to that one. It's 100 blocks away. And this is how it starts. I'm not going to get the timer started. I'm just going to show you how this goes. So basically, I'm going to jump down there, grab a gravitino ball, or a few of them, actually. Obviously, 
you're detected, and here they come. Now I'm going to show you something in regards to the these guys here. Get rid of your healers. Try to take them out as quickly as possible. Now this weapon I've got here, this multi-tool, happens to have four supercharged slots right next to each other. So my pulse spitter is hugely OP. Always take out the shooters first, uh, shooters last, if you will. And you see those two triangle guys? Yeah, we'll get to them in just a second. Let's get up here. We're trying to draw them to, to my base. Yep, just hit them real quick. They'll detect you. Draw them over to your base. And what happens is, is if you can get up on top of something, you're in a good, you, you've got the high ground here. Ah, I'm sorry, I had to go there. Yeah, yeah, we have the high ground. So what you do is you shoot the shooters, but you leave these two guys alone, these two triangle guys. You see they're pulling, they're calling in support. And if you look at the top right, you can see we're at level three on the oh, automatically on these guys. So take these guys out as quickly as you can and try to leave the triangle guys alone because by taking that one out like I just did they won't call any more support in which means you have less to fight now if you find yourself a little bit uh, overwhelmed that having to continually fight these guys over and over and over again and they're calling in support faster than you can keep up with it then yeah by all means take out one and you'll just be left with one the thing is is that with the support that comes in you will find yourself hard-pressed to not be taking them out so you can see they're just leaving behind these barrels the barrels just leave them where they are you can collect them if you need them if my health meter at the top my shield goes down too too far I'll either take them out with my gun with a mining laser or I'll just there you go see with the mining laser like that I can do it like that from a distance you'll find your guns take them out quicker but I'm really going through ammunition fast See, they're lobbing those things at me, not hurting me, because they're hitting the materials around me instead, and I can still stand up, so you're not dropping into a pit every time something happens. I'm having trouble finding my pulse spitter. So that's what you do. You just take these guys out. So what I'm going to end up doing, so I'm just taking them out completely now just to clean it up, and what we're going to do, that guy went up high for some reason. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and gather up these supplies real fast. We're going to leave the planet, and I'm going to come back, and we're going to start the timer up. Okay? So even though they got reinforcements coming in, I'm going to go ahead and head out. See, with the walkers involved, it's really not as much fun, and they don't have as much uh, call-in. As soon as you take out the walker, they're going to go to stage five, and then you get the two-legged walker. Too much. So we're going to go ahead and leave right now. We're going to come back, and... We'll come back to this base again and do it all over again. And we're going to take the 10 glass that we've already received. We're going to delete that. We're going to take the 10 glass we've already got. The pugnium, we're going to go ahead and delete that too. I must have killed an animal. I didn't realize I did that. And we're just going to put that down here. So it's not included in our final count. Okay? So we'll be back here soon. And I'm going to pause now and we'll come back. Any second now. Yep. There we go. Sentinel Force is deactivated. So, yeah, here's where we're going to go over to the... And we'll be back in a little bit. We're going to basically, like I said, we're going to exit this area and we'll come back in just a little while. So, I'm just going to go over to my starship and now I'm back to this world. So now, everything's reset here. We're starting the timer, as you can see, and we're going to do the exact same thing we did before. We know where the Gravitino balls were, so we're just going to go ahead and head over there, pick one up. There they go. We're going to lob a couple of pulse spitter ammunition at them. We've got their attention. Now oh, there's some more Gravitino balls over there on the right. I didn't see those before. Might have been a little quicker. Yoo-hoo. Over here. Boink. Again, you see the timer's going. I mean, we've already got a minute in. We haven't even really killed anything yet. Right? There we go. Wait for them to come over the hill. And here we go. A little while later. 
So you can see 13 minutes have passed. And look at all these barrels everywhere. Now we've left with we're left with just the two triangle guys, but I wanted to show you this. Just give you a little uh, taste of what the battle is like at this point. Because I took out one of the triangle guys, I decided to go ahead and just finish out the battle. So I'm going to go ahead and finish it out here. I've taken out all the triangles. We got another group coming in. It's now level four. You're going to hear the big drop from one of the mechs dropping in. Take out the triangle again. This is how you finish it out. And you see we have 18 minutes past now. There's a quad here. Quad almost gets stuck. See? But we take him out pretty quick, even with the healer there. Take out the healer. Oh, flames. Yeah, the flamethrower is pretty bad, but I took him out pretty quick. This this weapon is incredible. So the storm's cleared up. We've got reinforcements coming in. Now look at the time. 1835. Look at these barrels everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and get myself charged up real quick, and that's it. We're going to get a two-legged walker out of this, and we literally... It's one... We're just shy of 20 minutes now. Let's see how fast this goes. So all their support is just about gone. They just dropped in one of the other mechs. And each mech comes with their support staff. So we've got healers. See? And there's some more support staff back there. Kill him before he takes anything out. We've got that healer gone. That healer gone. Come on. Take out that last healer. There we go. He's gone. I'm going to take out this mech. We're hitting his arm is what we're doing. There we go. He's gone. I wanted to take him out with a plasma. I want to get healed up a little bit. Okay. So it's time to take you out. One leg. Two leg. We've 19 minutes and 40 seconds where we started with this guy. And we're going to take him out kamikaze style. Right on the top of the head. And bam. Guess what? We're done. 20 minutes. And in 20 minutes, that's what we've done with this. Okay? Look at all these barrels everywhere. And that's what you're going for. Yeah, I got survivalist. I've already achieved the maximum on these, so no big deal. So what we do is I end up doing a screenshot here. Yeah, you got to get it for posterity. Yeah, the, the robot disappeared. Oh, there he goes. So we're going to take the, the walker brain once and twice, of course. And I decided, looking at this mess, let's go ahead and get a screenshot of it. And this is literally 20 minutes worth of time. Okay. So we're going to pull back here. We're only about five more minutes left of this video here. I just wanted to get a nice screenshot of this. But realize I'm not going to get the right lighting in this, so I have to, you know change the and this of course is the thumbnail you probably recognize it but of course it's a little dark right now so why don't we go ahead and just put the sun somewhere where we can get better lighting there we go that looks better screenshot there we go and we're back so i was going to use the good old-fashioned method of just picking them up with the e button yeah that's just not happening paul i pulled out the mining laser and i said oh, wait a minute Oh, this is way faster. Yeah, we'll do this. So this is called cleanup time. I never tried to clean up uh, clean up a mess with a pulse spitter, but I guess this is a first for everything. That's just hilarious. I, it's it brings me so much joy watching this. I don't know why. Very very satisfied. How'd you clean up the mess with a gun? Plus, I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit because of the fact that I've been doing so many videos the last several days, trying to get everything caught up, setting things up for scheduling, things like that. But I've enjoyed every minute of it. And I hope you have too. So once we get these all cleaned up, we're going to show you exactly what happens with the nanites. Probably should have paused this and came back, but that's yeah, okay. 
You know what we could do? Okay, we got them all. <laughs> so that was the fast way of doing it. Uh, I don't know where we got the rock from. Uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Here, put that in my ship real fast. So we're going to reorganize things real quick. Um, put them over there. And we're just going to start putting them in groups of 10. Okay? So here's the thing. You've got all this glass, salvaged glass, right? It's worth a pretty penny. It's not too, too shabby. I have the original 10 down there. I'm not going to touch it. Okay? Here we go. And we start extracting everything. I start spamming my E button. There we go. All right. And we'll keep doing that for just another minute or so. There we go. Okay. So what you're looking for is you're looking for all these upgrades. These Sentinel upgrades that you... I mean, you could use them if you want. It's really up to you if you want to have them or not. Um, I move these around real quick. The whole point behind these is to show something here. So we've got six groups of 10. Each one is worth 4,800 nanites apiece. If you do the math on this, that's about 5,000 nanites if you want to do the... Uh, if you want to round it up a little bit. So literally, we've made in 20 minutes 30,000 nanites. Not to mention, look at the top left corner, 170,000. I started at 168. I still acquired over 2,000 nanites. Uh, almost 2,500 nanites just from defeating the Sentinels to begin with. So 30,000 nanites in 20 minutes. Do the math, folks. 90,000 an hour. 90,000 nanites an hour. You're hard-pressed to get some nanites. You're trying to farm this, farm that. This is the way to go. Just make sure you have a decent weapon. Scatter blasters are good, too, if you want to use them. They tend to cause... Uh, you can only do close-up damage. You want to be further away. I always recommend the Pulse Spitter for that. There's no better weapon than to do that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, as you can see, we're coming to a fast end here with only about 30 seconds left. And even the Pugnium was worth over a million credits. So you're still making some serious cash on all this stuff. So I hope again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please hit the like button if you enjoyed this. Um, and by all means, subscribe if you haven't already. Why haven't you? Honestly. Go ahead and subscribe. Always really enjoy doing these videos. There's a lot more coming. This is just one of many. Uh, and also enjoy my regular playthrough if you'd like to just go through the regular storyline. Appreciate all the help, folks, and I think we did a great job. Take care, and we'll see you on the other side.